So I think this is one of those rare occasions where I'm not too familiar with the games I'm about to talk about. So I guess this will be a learning experience for both of us. In other words, I have no idea what I'm doing. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe, and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions about this subject matter down below. So by the time you're seeing this video it'll be, I don't know, kinda, sorta close into September, almost close enough anyway, right? So let's talk about homebrew now guys, here's all of the homebrew news I was able to find for the month of September 2022, since you know my previous video, and the heartbreak that that one entailed. So let's begin. First up here, we're talking about a game that I have no idea how to pronounce. Big shock, am I right? This is called Lugara, or Lugaru. No, I think it's Lugaru. Yeah, yeah, definitely Lugaru. And now that I'm giving a first glance at it, it looks like some sort of 3D action werewolf rabbit zombie sort of apocalyptic game. Also, yeah, sounds like it's pretty accurate, along with words I never thought I'd be saying in the same sentence. So since I know nothing about this game, let's see what the video description has to say. Follow Turner, a rebel bunny rabbit with impressive combat bat skills in his quest to find those responsible for slaughtering his village. Uncover a far-reaching conspiracy involving the corrupt leaders of the Rabbit Republic and the wolves of the nearby land. Streamline combat, gone are the days of combo-heavy gameplay. So I'm assuming it's maybe a bit more strategic? I'm not really sure. But according to Steam here that I'm looking at the reviews for it, it's actually a very positive reviewed game. So I can kind of see now why this one was chosen to be on the PS Vita. And honestly, just by looking at the title screen here, isn't this just scream nightmare fuel for you all? I certainly know I'm terrified. So if you ever wanted to get down and dirty with an apocalyptic zombie creepy looking rabbit, then, well, somebody wanted to apparently, because it's on the Vita now. And we're all better off because of it? Next up we have here is called Paco Forever. Why the heck is it called Paco Forever? Well, after even looking at the game description, I have absolutely no idea. An eternal enigma this game may just be. So here's what it's about. Escape as long as possible in endless levels. Secrets, power-ups, unlockable epic cars, and plenty of other surprises wait for you in this reimagined version of the classic original car chase game, Paco Car Chase Simulator. Well, color me surprised. I had no idea there was even a first entry in this. Featuring an easy and addictive gameplay, along with generative maps make each gameplay experience a different, well, experience. Oh, I love those words so much. So I guess you can kind of sort of say that this game is an auto runner, just, you know, without any running and you're in a car. So, you know, not really like an auto runner. So I'm still left in the dark here. Why is this game called Paco Forever? Is Paco the name of your car or something? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I name my car all the time. Isn't that right, Charlene? And I will admit the whole auto-generated maps is always a thing that I personally am a sucker for. So yeah, looks pretty awesome to me. Isn't that right, Charlene? What awaits us next? Well, that honor goes to Nanosaur. Great, we're only a few seconds into the segment and already I'm confused. Aren't dinosaurs supposed to be larger than a nano? Then again, I have no idea what a nano is, so let's just keep going. So what the heck is Nanosaur all about? Well, Nanosaur is a science fiction third-person shooter video game developed by Pangea Software and published by Ideas from the Deep for Mac and Windows. And of course, now we can include the PS Vita in that lineup. Unofficially, of course, but you know, still. The player takes on the form of a Nanosaur, a genetically engineered intelligent dinosaur from the future sent back in time just prior to, you know, whatever ended up killing the dinosaurs. Dude, this game is rocking both time travel and dinosaurs. How can you get any more epic than that? And plus, I guess, you know, it's a third person shooter too, so that that's pretty awesome. Oh no. Oh man. Oh jeez. Is anybody else out there getting those terrifying deja vu vibes of the old pokey games? Because I know I certainly am. This may even be more terrifying than that rabbit game. This is Wordle, I guess. And as you can tell, it looks like it's some sort of word game. So let's learn about what this is and just get on with it. And not prolong the suffering. Wordle. Most Wordle clones ask players to guess secret words based on intangible information. Wordle, meanwhile, relies on real world knowledge of tangible locations and what they look like. Unlike other Wordle wannabes? What, someone's actually trying to copy this series? Wordle gives players six guesses to correctly identify the correct answer. Do you have any idea what's going on here? I certainly don't. So, uh, what do you say we just skip this one, pretend it doesn't exist, and move on to another game? Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. The mental scars we just suffered will last a lifetime, though. 
And now for what you've all been waiting for, I am happy to announce guys that Flycast, a Dreamcast emulator, is now an official, an official thing on the Vita! Yeah, we originally thought that this wasn't going to be possible, but individuals such as Rin and Bathos prove that with a little love, eh, anything is possible. That's almost kind of sexual now, isn't it? Now of course certain games run better than others, and I will have the same list that I featured in a previous video talking about this back when it was upcoming down in the video description, but you'll be happy to know that not only is Flycast a thing now on the Vita, but it's even gotten some new updates. Yeah, much to our surprise, and so quickly. Looks like this is gonna have a bright future, including a version 1.0.2, which gives you microphone support for such games as Seaman, Mr. Driller, and so on. I beat the original Seaman game back on my Dreamcast, so I'm looking forward to trying it out now with the PS Vita's mic. Yet another game that features terrifying imagery. I sense a pattern here. It's just ingenious what these hackers are able to do. <sighs> also, being able to play my all-time favorite Dreamcast game, Ill Bleed, along with other classics such as Power Stone on the go. Oh man, we're in for a wild time. So guys, I will have links down below for the Flycast emulator for those of you who are interested in trying this new gem out. And of course, don't forget, like with all things involving homebrew, as the weeks and months go by, there will be new updates to see what games will be more compatible with this version of Flycast in the future. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go play some Techromancer. Don't worry, it's a robot fighting game. It's not as loose as it sounds. Unfortunately. And, uh, unintentionally speaking here, we are keeping with the whole Sega theme, and now let's talk about Sonic Mania. Yeah, this thing is also a thing on the Vita. I mean, just what isn't at this point, right? Yeah, guys, the original Sonic Mania is fully playable, and you'll be happy to know that it runs very well on the platform, with maybe a few hiccups every now and then on some of the bonus areas, which I've never been very good at, so it's all good in my book. But by the time you're seeing this video, there might already be a new version that helps to fix some of these issues. But other than that though, yeah, it's Sonic Mania on the Vita. Something we probably thought would never ever be a thing, but now it is. Now can we please officially go back to calling Dr. Eggman Dr. Robotnik once again? I really miss those days. Hi, I'm old. Oh baby, that was certainly a lot of stuff, but we have reached the end of today's segment. So guys, I'd love to know, which of these homebrew games interested you the most? Which games have you played already? Which ones are you looking forward to trying out? And uh, the less we talk about that Pogi clone, the better. Trust me, my blood pressure really doesn't need that sort of thing in its life. So anyway, get a type in down below. And as always, follow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Dr. Super Artie, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Azumara, 1488 Dental, Rizal Pliskin, Buzz Saiyan, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermosillo, Burrs and Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Jamie, PSP Guru, Starlight Mirror, Last Rated 87, No Good, Aridri, Franz Hartle, Save and Fire, Chris Foxhound, Meshuga360, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazuk, Zekrito, Werthorka, Airkick72, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, Neo Rashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Legion 21, Berserker Games, Randy Azadech, Michael O'Connor, H Hitter, Jale, Joseph Shavak, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sondi, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Crazy Cat, Heston Joseph, Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, BG Legends, Claymore Merlarkey, BMF, Skullshirt Tugel TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Silica, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdal Imbert, and Gutter Drums. And a special thank you to Blaine Locklear, Michael Marchand, and Thomas Cromet for the recent outside donations. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing 
purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. So, uh, you guys know why I'm so eager to play Power Stone on the Vita? Yeah, it's for Rouge. Definitely, definitely for Rouge.